It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Colonel Brewery and it's the India Pale Ale Amarillo Rakai. Raka? Tell me how to pronounce it in the comments box. It is obviously a name of a hop. Um, if I was to kind of guess, I would say it's a New Zealand hop. I could be completely wrong, so I suggest you comment. It's 7% ABV, it's a silver cap. I'd say the Colonel really, I mean, they're all about. I suppose I've, I've had some black IPAs, uh, a table beer, but other than that, the Colonel Brewery kind of specialise in IPAs and they're very good at it. <coughs> nice bit of smoke on the opening. I was there, I was at the brewery last August when I was in London visiting the Great British Beer Festival. I stayed for a second day. I stayed for a second day and visited a few breweries with Mr. Hopsine, a uh, great guy, check him out. And the last port to call before I had to head back to Wales was the Colonel. They're underneath a railway arch in London. Um, yeah. And it's a great little place, really enjoyed myself. Uh, we met some great blokes there, we had a beer, and yeah, it was an all round good weekend really. Uh, drinking beer. So anyway, this Colonel beer, beer in the glass. It's a lovely golden coloured beer. It's a one finger head, nice levels of carbonation rolling up the glass there. The camera is picking out that it's slightly hazy, but for my eye, I'm going to say it's particularly clear. It's got the ever so slightly kind of haziness that little bit of haze going on in the in the look of the beer, but I mean, if you were to ask me, I'd say it was a clear beer. That's just the camera, um, probably better than my eye because it's 4K. Uh, golden beer then, golden coloured ale. Let's get the aroma. And lo and behold, from the Colonel Brewery, what you get from one of their beers, one of their IPAs, you get a big wallop of hop. You get that Amarillo, and obviously that Raka, that Raka hop, Rakai. Let me know. It smells of, well, the, the aroma is of grapefruit, a little bit of spice, mango, a little bit of peach. Your kind of typical pale stone fruits. Let's dive in, cheers. Yeah. And Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, another top class beer from the Colonel Brewery. I'm picking up a lovely bitterness on the back end mixed with a lovely kind of white pepper spice. Mixed with grapefruit, the beer just travels along on your palate. It just keeps hitting high notes like you're making your way along on the piano. It's crisp, it's very dry, it's very bitter, but it's indeed very drinkable. I'm gonna, sh I'll show you that little bit of beer later on in the review. Um, I'll just show you, just quickly in the camera. Now that looks like chocolate milkshake, or maybe even banana milkshake. The reason for that is all of the Colonel Brewery's beers, or initially when they first brought their beers out, they had so much sediment. But I love that about the Colonel Brewery's beers. I love that big cloudiness. You'd have lumps and bumps and bits and pieces all over your beer. And it was great because essentially the beer looked mucky, but the beer tasted fantastic. If you poured their beer very quietly and very carefully, and left that last piece, that last bit in the bottle, then fine. You won't get any of that. You'll get a crystal clear beer. 
But if you're like me and you like a little bit of vitamin D and you like a little bit, a little bit of caveman style to your beer, then then go ahead and whack that vitamin D in your beer. It's only yeast. It won't harm you. So if you've come across this beer review by accident, somebody suggested trying the Colonel Brewery's beers, and you found this review, and you've dumped the whole lot in your glass, and you've gone, oh my goodness me, what's this? And you've panicked your way um, into into searching stuff on YouTube, then then don't worry, it's a, it's still a very drinkable beer. So anyway, on with the review. So mango, grapefruit, lovely dryness, it's, that's a dry your palate, spicy, biscuity, little bit of kind of bready malty feel in there. And an all round lovely lemony kind of big vitamin C, fantastic IPA from the Colonel Brewery. So we are at that stage where I'm gonna show you now that yeast in the beer. That bottle conditional bottle condition wonderness in the beer. So see all that carbonation in the glass. That's a natural fermentation process. That happens in the bottle or in the vessel. Uh, normally in the bottle. Basically what happens is it's not a forced carbonated beer. I don't mind forced carbonated beers, but traditionally I'm, I like my history. I like things done kind of the old way. Um, I like a bottle condition beer because it's, it's the natural way to carbonate a beer. If you want to know more, Google it. Second fermentation process. Have a look. Right, here we go then. Can you see the difference? Look at that. And the Colonel Brewery, they're almost famous for it. They're renowned for it. I'm sure Evan doesn't like people to pour all of the, the yeast in the beer, but hey, this is a beer review. This is just an example of what beers look like. If you come across this beer by accident, if you poured it all in your glass, and if you come across this beer, I'm gonna show you that it's absolutely fine. Cheers. Exactly the same. No difference, really. Well, there's no difference at all. It's still a fantastic grape. Grape, grapefruity, sorry. Lemon, pale stone fruits, a little bit of mango, a little bit of apricot, a little bit of kiwi. Yeah, it's a good beer. It's a good beer. So rating them for the Colonel India Pale Ale, Amarillo, Rakai, Rakau. You gotta comment on that, you gotta let me know. Where that hop is from and how to pronounce it. But a Stone the Crows beer is always a nine, a 9 or a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give this a 9. It's a 9 out of 10. I think it's a very solid beer. Um, yeah, it's a very solid beer. It's a 9 out of 10. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.